Hello everyone, WolfieCast here back with another Hero Basics video where I take a hero from Gigantic and jump right into the game at level 1 and show you exactly what all of their abilities do. No talents, no upgrades, nothing special. This time we have Zenobia. Zenobia is a ranged support hero with the tags controller. So she's actually all about the soft and hard crowd controls and using a bunch of different uh, debuffs to control the enemy and, and keep them either locked down or preventing them from doing damage. All sorts of different things, as opposed to actually healing. She actually has no healing uh, potential whatsoever in her kit for the team. She's able to heal herself pretty well, uh, but she has the widest array of debuffs in the game, kind of hidden all within her talent trees. But that is for the deep dive. For now, let's go over Zenobia's stats. Zenobia has 1700 health and 15 armor. So she actually has the second lowest uh, health pool uh, as far as the supports go in the game. But she makes up for that with, you know, the array of crowd control and the self-healing that she can provide. The first thing I want to go over, actually, is just a, a neat little trick as far as Zenobia. It has it actually has nothing to do with her uh, abilities whatsoever. But Zenobia has a shockingly large air dodge. Because if anyone that doesn't know, you can actually perform dodges in the middle of jumps. And if you dodge... If you basically jump and then dodge right away, you perform a really fast jump dodge that can actually launch you really far, depending on who you are. Uh, but Zenobia has by far the longest jump dodge. So if I do jump backward dodge, just how quick, how far that took her. It's very, it's something that you don't really think about. <laughs> just something you kind of learn the more and more you play the game. But she she actually has one of the longest back dodges, uh, back air dodges, I should say. Anyway. Let's go to her LMB now, which is called Gaze of NB. Hold down a beam that absorbs enemy health. Heals herself for 25 healing per second. It also does 26 damage pre-mitigation per tick of damage. And this, these are rapid ticks of damage like the other beams in the game. We're just really super rapid, uh, quick instances, maybe like four or five ticks per second. Um, but that doesn't increase the healing. It just is the amount of damage that it does. But it looks like this. Tether range is pretty long. And you can see I'm actually going to go ahead and go down here to take a little bit of damage so you can see the healing that it does. I'll just take a little bit and then I'll start draining. And you can see every every second or so I'm getting that just floating text of 25 healing. And you can see my health bar also increasing slowly. It just kind of keeps herself in the fight. And this is a pretty long, this is a pretty long tether range, all things considered. I think it's actually probably one of the longer beams in the game. But as you can see, just keeps herself alive. Does pretty does pretty good damage if you ramp up the crits. And as long as it holds, you're basically just draining health permanently. I want to say one more thing about her LMB specifically. And this is this is generally about Zenobia's LMB, uh, but it applies to other sources of healing. Regeneration in this game, like healing per second, is technically coded the same way that degens are. If you've heard me do my uh, degen rant, if you have multiple instances of the same degen, the highest damaging degen will be the one that does the initial damage. And then every other following degen will do its damage at 10% potency. And it's the same exact thing for healing. So if you have multiple sources of healing, this is actually a really low healing per second. So if, if say Vadasi, which does seven, uh, Vadasi does 75 healing per second with her beam. If she is beaming you and you are beaming an enemy, you're not getting 100 healing per second. You're getting about maybe 20 or sorry, 77, 78 healing uh, per second. So because it's it's all counted as the same regeneration effect of healing. And then there's also um, I think it's called massive heal, where if it's a big burst of healing, like Sven's E does a massive heal and then the healing over time. Uh, massive heals will always do the flat amount of healing that they say, but healing regenerational effects have the same um, have the same logic as degens. But with that out of the way, that let's go over to her RB, which is called Words of Spite. Fires a hoeing projectile at the enemy that does damage on impact and then applies cracked armor for three seconds. Cracked armor reduces armor by 10 and does 10 damage per second. This is a five second cooldown. The initial damage is around 100 and it's a 22 meter range. So this is actually quite a long distance. I think it's all the way back here you can still hit. And even from back here, it'll still do uh, do homing. But it's a, it's a fairly slow projectile. Um, really small, but it, I mean, it's... 
I wouldn't say it's very slow. It it moves pretty quickly, all things considered, um, comparatively to some other uh, some other projectiles that are in the game. But for the most part, so long as they're within range, like this will reach them. And it's a pretty short cooldown because of a five second cooldown, and a three second uptime. It's like a sixty percent uptime of of a of an armor crack. So this is really good at initiating fights because it lowers their armor and makes all sources of damage do more. So just a really good opener. And just just really constantly use this because there it's it's so free. Really short cooldown. Pretty good damage that doesn't have any fall off, even at the even at the maximum range. It's a pretty good ability. Except we have Zenob Zenobius Q, which is called Wave of Sorrow. Fires a ground-based projectile that does 75 damage on impact pre-mitigation. It also knocks enemies upwards and then weakens them, which is a 25% damage reduction for four seconds. This is another instance of says it interrupts. It doesn't interrupt. It's only if they're doing something that requires them to stand still. So this is just there's you can tell by this point there are so many of these that are in the game and it really needs to be fixed. Uh, but it looks like this. So if I cast th this is something I want to bring up. Uh, I'm going to cast it normally first. It'll travel along the ground. And then once it reaches some once it reaches somebody, it just kind of bursts and it does damage uh, to the person that you hit. The other thing I want to bring up is that if you jump and then use your Q, it'll actually travel kind of parallel to where you jumped from. So if or kind of where you cast it in mid jump. So it'll actually travel like in a flat line along the same like the same uh, altitude of, of where you jumped. So if I do that, it actually just goes right over his head because it's too high up in the air. So be be mindful of using this mid jump because sometimes it might not even actually reach the person that you're trying to hit. Otherwise, it will just go up and down ledges, kind of up and down, even sheer cliffs. Uh, I don't think it might actually go up sheer cliffs now that I say that out loud. I'd, not like this, at least. It might go up something like this because it's sort of like a ramp. I'll try that out right now, actually. So, yeah, so it'll, it'll actually stop at what is considered a wall, but it'll travel down walls pretty easily. But something it just just something to remember. If you jump first and then cast Q, it's uh, going to travel along that aerial line instead of along the ground. Zobia's last basic ability is called Mark of Despair. Create despair at the target area for uh, up to six seconds. Enemies inside the space are slowed, and it's a 30% movement speed reduction. It's also a 16 second cooldown. It's a very simple to understand uh, ability, pretty wide area of effect, and not not like the super long cast range, but good enough to uh, to do what it needs to do. But you create the space. Enemies inside are major slowed, and it lasts for quite a while. And uh, it's just it's just like a really good, you know, other tool for the lockdown. You know, one is the one is the push and the weakness. The other, you know, makes them take more damage and the one slows. It's 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 a very simple kit to grasp. And a lot of the a lot of the powers of Nobia comes from upgrade paths. And she's got a lot of different builds that she can do. Uh, but that is for a later video. And finally, we have Zenobia's focus, which is called Cursed Soul. Dooms the target area, disables enemies' actions after a short delay, and uh, kind of pauses them in space, kind of puts them in stasis. Enemies in the space that are currently being drained will give Zenobia 50 healing per second. Uh, with multiple people in the space, it'll actually only increase by 5 healing per second per enemy that's inside. So if you hit all 5 enemies on the team, it's actually a maximum of 70 healing. So that'd be 70 healing um, with each focus point. Crystal duration starts at four seconds and then five seconds and then six seconds at rank three. You can ignore this. I don't know why this is here. It's definitely not melee range. It doesn't do 250 impact damage. It just does a very flat 50 damage. It's kind of it's kind of coded similarly to a bleed, but it doesn't count as a bleed. And it's what's important to know is that when it means it disables actions and health changes, it means that anything that is currently affecting the enemy will basically act as though it's not there. It's it's very hard to explain. Imagine as though someone is currently suffering from bleed, poison, and uh, bleed, poison, and burn all at the same time. 
and each one of those each one of those debuffs lasts for four seconds. If you use Cursed Soul on that target, they're gonna take whatever in, like whatever instances of those deep gens that they took will act normally. And let's say it now has a two second duration on all of those debuffs uh, happening. If you use Cursed Soul on them, those remaining two seconds will continue, and then the debuff will finish. But those two seconds will not do any damage because they're kind of considered put in stasis. They can't take damage from any outside sources. The only damage that they're going to take is from the ticking damage of the draining that it does. But it looks like this. So this is a, 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 a pretty good wide space. And there is a small delay before it fully activates. But they kind of, you know, they, they're in that purple shell. They get the dizzy, like, stunned animation. And they take that damage. And that is the only damage that they're going to take. It does not matter if they have all the degens of the world. It doesn't matter if you're... If you got two or three people firing at them or, or using their melee attacks, it doesn't matter if you're using your attacks. They are not going to take any source of damage. They're not going to take any damage from any source so long as they're in that stasis. So this is this focus is really difficult to use properly. It's all a, it's really about you can use it to save yourself, like if you get jumped on and hit two people or if you can get close enough to use it on a priority person and just kind of put them out of the fight for a long time like you can you can take like a tank out of the fight for four seconds you could take their strongest damage threat out of the fight for a minimum of four seconds so it can be used that way and Zenobia has shockingly high focus gain so you can use this pretty often just you you have to be mindful of when and how you're using it because I I've seen plenty of times where Cursed Soul um will just sort of save the team instead of dealing damage to them because they they're a lot of a lot of her ally like a lot of your allies can use all of their long cooldowns and damage abilities and they can't they're not gonna do anything because they're in stasis so you really have to be careful with this one it's 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 very difficult to use more often than not i think most people tend to use this to stop say like an assassin from jumping on them and and just kind of leave them for a bit and focus on other matters but that is it for Zenobia. She's kind of just the overall degen queen, the debuff queen. Um, and her damage is okay, but it's really about, you know, making sure your allies do more damage to them and kind of keeping them locked in place and in fights. And you don't want to use all of your abilities like super rapidly because they all, you know, serve a unique purpose. And Zenobia does okay damage, but that's definitely not what her thing is. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you like, subscribe, leave comments, all that stuff. I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you in the next one.